All right, so this is just going to be a quick video showing how to open up and disassemble this HP Chromebook model 14S oh sorry 14A NA 0012TG. All right, model numbers right there. Anyways, we're gonna open this thing up. It looks like it's gonna be a bit tricky, but let's see what we can do. Okay, so we're going to have to peel up these rubber feet most likely. So let's see, I'm gonna try and use my fingernail here and just peel them up. Okay, looks like there's a goopy layer. So once we peel this, let's see if we can peel up the plastic here. Okay, I'm gonna use a small flathead screwdriver and see if we can peel that. Okay, you wanna try and peel the adhesive out because the screws are stuck underneath. Okay, and once we get a piece of it up, we can peel that. Okay, you actually wanna peel the adhesive, okay? like that grab it and then pull it just like that so you don't want to peel the rubber part you want to actually peel the adhesive part okay so once you grab that we're gonna pull on that just like this okay oh, oh my cat's meowing about but there we go we got all of that peeled out okay and then I'm gonna try and stick this back onto the rubber piece just like that. Phoenix, what's happening? Okay, so you can see there's four screws under here. We're gonna check under this rubber piece if there's the same thing. Okay, looks like there's more screws hidden under there. So same, you kinda wanna peel underneath, or get underneath the adhesive strip here. Okay, and you wanna peel up from that, not on the rubber piece, okay? So peel up from the adhesive. I don't know why my camera's randomly freezing, but hopefully it's recording. Okay, there we go. Yeah, for some reason my screen um, thing, casting thing, keeps having issues, so I don't know what's going on. Anyways, we got those two out. It looks like there's two little circles here that we probably got to um, uh, pop out as well. So let's go ahead and pop those out. I'm going to use a flathead screwdriver um, probably might have to use a needle or something but I'm gonna push down on it and pull it to try and make a gap and then we can get between that gap and peel it out there we go okay so we got two of those we're gonna peel those out so kind of move it to one side if you can get in the edge and then peel it up this one's a bit more tricky there we go, get underneath and peel that up. Okay. Alright, now that we got all of that out, let's see if we can remove these with a JIS-1 or if we need a JIS-0 screwdriver. Alright, my screencast is messed up, so I'm going to have to stand up and see what I'm recording. Okay. And we're going to take all these screws out. Okay, keep them in order because they can be different size, shape, and lengths. The way I do that, I put them flat side down on my desk like that in the pattern I remove them. So we got four here, and then I'll, I'll just put those in a row of four as well. Okay. All right, if this video helps you out, make sure to like, subscribe, share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices as well. And if it helps you save a bunch of money, please consider contributing a little to the channel. Every little bit helps and allows me to continue making these videos for a living. All the screws appear to be the same size, but again, it's always a good idea to keep them in order just in case anything doesn't work right. Okay, so we got those eight screws out. Now we gotta pop this bottom cover off. Usually the easiest way I find is I kind of open the computer a little bit. I'll get my fingernails in the gap there, and then I'll push with my thumb on the palm rest, not on the trackpad, while I kind of pull with my fingernails here. So let's see if that works with this model. Okay, feels like it's unclipping, there we go. And then we'll skip the touchpad and we'll go over here. And same thing. And there you go, you can see it's popping out. Okay, can carefully close this up. Then we'll go over to the side. Hopefully you can see, again, I have to stand while I'm doing this because my screen mirror thing keeps not working. All right, and then we'll do this. I need like a dedicated camera setup that works so I don't have to keep worrying about connecting it like this. Anyways, we're going to kind of wiggle this because it seems the center is kind of stuck here. 
Okay, and there we go. So once you pull up the back, it looks like if you slide it back, then it releases the middle clips here. Okay, so I'm not sure what's going on. This one's not turning on at all. Um, it won't charge, it won't do anything. The customer brought it in because nothing's happening. Um, so that's usually a motherboard issue, but I wanted to see if disconnecting the battery would help with that. So let me zoom in here. Okay, we've got the battery connector here. I'm gonna try and peel this up. Okay, so we'll peel that back. Then we have the wings of the connector here, and I'm gonna use my fingernails to kind of just wiggle it, and there we go. All right, sometimes this will help because this acts as the CMOS, BIOS, or real-time clock battery, whatever you wanna call it. Um, after disconnecting the battery, I'm gonna open up the laptop, and we're gonna press and hold the power button for at least 15 seconds. All right, that should drain the power and reset the BIOS. So I'm going to keep holding that button. In the meantime, you can see the connections here. USB port, USB-C. Okay, this board goes over there and has all these connections going into it. I'm not sure why it needs so many connections when there's nothing else there. Hmm. This board kind of looks like it has an SD card slot, but... Maybe not, I don't know. Anyways, <clears throat> been way more than 15 seconds. So I don't know why it needs so many cables going into here, but for some reason it does. All right, there's all this plastic that's covering stuff. And yeah, I don't know what that, what all those things are for. Let me see if I take some screws out and check it real quick. Okay. Since this laptop's kind of dead, I figured why not, but I'm not going to do a complete disassembly. The battery, if you're wondering, there's a model number on it. It's GH02XL. I'll show that in a bit. Let me just get these four screws out and lift this up and see what's underneath. Okay. Okay, there's nothing underneath. <laughs> All right. It looks like on some models, they probably have an SD card slot here. But for this one, there's nothing else in there. So anyways, we're just going to... Put this back. Hmm. Oh, some of the plastic back there is broken. Okay, hopefully you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me get the broken plastic out of there. There we go. Okay, I'm just going to put these screws back in. I don't see anything strange. Um, yeah, there's not too much to look at in here. Uh, most likely the SSD or the storage is part of the motherboard. So if I replace the motherboard, they're basically gonna lose all the stuff that was on there. You can see a wireless card is here. You got this cable here. Most likely for like touchscreen or the webcam. You got this cable here, LCD LVDS connector. I'm not gonna mess with that, but this one, it just has like a slide in. There's all this adhesive on it. You got this for the speaker here, going down to there. Then there's a cable running across to the other speaker here. You can see the battery model number, GH02XL, like I mentioned. There's a few screws holding it in place. You can take it out. Um, looks like trackpad is held in three screws down here. I'm not gonna take everything else out, but this is likely the trackpad cable, keyboard cable. And again, I don't know why it needs so many connections going into here for just the USB 3 and the USB-C. There's no other stuff there. Right? Oh, no. Yeah, there's not really anything else there, right? The speaker's down here. So it's interesting. The speaker's right here. But if you look at this, the speaker's only right here. So all of this is just nothing. It's like a fake mesh just for visual, I guess. Um, yep. I don't see really much else here. Keyboard is held in with melted plastic on these little things here, so it's not an easy to replace keyboard. Um, these two screws here are just for clips to clip the uh, thing in place. Not really much else. Wireless antenna cables going here into the screen. Okay, so one wireless antenna goes to the left and one goes to the right. 
And yeah, not really much else in here to look at. I'm not going to take the whole motherboard out. It looks like there's not much space to fit like an SSD in here, so I don't think they would have an SSD in there. Anyways, let's go ahead and plug the um, battery back in. If it doesn't work still, then it looks like it's a motherboard issue. Actually, this battery light is now flashing. That wasn't happening before. So we might be lucky, it might be working now. So let me zoom out a tiny bit. We're gonna put the bottom cover back on. Okay, there's no RAM or SSD to upgrade on this model. We're just gonna go ahead and pop this all back together. Line it all up, click it all back in. Okay, click everything back in. These clips are pretty strong. Okay, there we go. And then we're just going to get all eight screws back in, put the little rubber feet back on and everything, and we should be hopefully good to go. All right. I'm going to probably have to ch uh, test their charger because it could be their charger's the problem that caused it to do that. Um, but we'll find out. Anyways, hopefully this video helped you guys out. If it did, make sure to, again, like, subscribe. Share my channel with others so that they can learn how to upgrade and repair their devices um, as well. Uh, leave a comment because that helps the YouTube algorithm. It sees that you're interested. Um, and yeah, other than that, that's pretty much it. You're welcome to stay until I get all the screws back in and try and power it back up. We'll see if it works or not. I don't know what's going on. The light was flashing, so that's a good sign. It's not completely dead. But uh, yeah, all right, then we're gonna get this rubber piece back on just to make sure to get the edge all the way in. And then you go to the other edge and put that in first. So that way, if it's stretched or anything, the excess um, will kind of just form a mountain and you can kind of push it down to get it back in place. Okay, just like this. Okay, and just work your way back and forth till it's completely flat. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do this side as well. Same thing, start to one side. Okay, get that side in, and we'll go to the other side. Get that side in, oop. There we go, and then work your way towards the center, making sure it goes in the slot. And then just keep going, working your way get everything seated properly again okay and then these last two little circle thingies just put them back over the screws just like that and like this okay let's flip it over let's see if we're lucky power button is anything happening oh and we got it all right it's alive and that's pretty much it. Hopefully this video helped you guys out. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. All right, it's showing low battery now, so I need to plug it in. But yeah, let's drop this. Bye.